Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to do a Shop Miss A haul. I didn't even know what Shop Miss A was. Honestly, one of my friends told me to do a full face video using Shop Miss A and I instantly went online and I checked it up, checked it out, and I I thought it was pretty cool. A lot of the items are pretty much a dollar or a little bit more, but nothing over $10, I believe, and I feel like I got a pretty good amount of things. Not for a full face of Shop Miss A. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and in another video I will do that tutorial using all of these products. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So the first item that I got are these little furry socks. I don't like walking barefoot at my house and I just thought, hey, why not a dollar for these socks? I thought it was pretty cool. So we got those and they're very nice and soft and they're gray black and white and yeah socks <laughs> the next item that i got was this aoa studio perfect setting powder this is in the shade banana so this is it and it has a little um sifter there it's a better swatch of it it's a decent color it's not too yellow it's not too faint so that's a nice gonna be a nice color as far as color goes I think that'll be nice the next item that I got is the same powder but this is in the color soft light this is almost like a translucent powder so that's the powder right there so that's a pretty nice one I think it's gonna be really nice to set under the eyes or just kind of set the foundation the next product that I got AOA perfect BB cream this is in the color tan, so this is kind of like a BB cream. I'm just gonna. Swatch it a little bit for you guys. It's nice. It doesn't have a lot of sheen to it. Seems like a good match as far as color goes. This is another thing that I'm excited for. I've been wanting a mattifying primer. I've been using the Soap and Glory primer for quite a while now and I like it. And this one is new. This one is their um, Wonder Skin by AOA Mattifying Primer. Hopefully this is a good one because if this is a good one, I believe it was a dollar. Come on, nothing, nothing beats a dollar. I put some on the skin. nice and soft while you spread it and I actually make I actually feel it drying down as I put it on it's actually really nice it feels nice hopefully that works it feels very promising next item that I got these are the AOA makeup remover cleansing wipes in the scent lavender or I don't even know if they're scented but it says lavender there are 15 of them and you pay a dollar for them I'm gonna see actually smell the lavender. I'm gonna take one out just so that I can clean my hand as I go. They're not that thin. That's pretty nice for a dollar. The ones that you would get like at Walgreens. I got two beauty blenders. I think they gave me the wrong one. I was supposed to get one that looked like the pink Gloria one that's a little beveled. But they gave me two of these. These are just kind of like the Real Techniques blending sponges. So they come in like a little baggie and then these are it. They feel really nice. I hope that these work pretty good. Squeezing them, they feel kind of like the L'Oreal one. They feel too thick. Actually, this one feels a little bit thicker than the lighter pink one. So we'll see how they perform. Got a highlighter. This was the AOA Wonder Baked Highlighter. I'm just going to go ahead and open that. Kind of looks like that Champagne Pop highlight. It feels a little bit on the dry side. So there is the highlight and I wouldn't say this is a very like in your face highlight this seems more like if I just look at it away from the light it is a really nice pigmented highlight but I feel like it's gonna be on like a everyday kind of look highlight um, it's not that intense I'm sure if you guys wet it or moisten the brush as you use it you might get a little bit more color payoff but for somebody like me that isn't like a big highlights that's kind of nice next item that i got is the aoa studio sculpting brow pencil this brow pencil is kind of like the anastasia brow definer i think it's called it's those kind of pencils that are angled and this is in the color dark brown oh, i think i'm gonna like this 
because it feels nice and dry. I like pencils that are on the drier side. They feel like they last longer on my skin. Usually my skin is oily, so pencils like these that feel nice and dry tend to work a little bit better. All right, next item on the list, I'm actually excited about this. This was only a dollar. It's an angled eyeliner brush, and I think it's gonna be a really good brush. I'm a little impressed that it's actually labeled you can actually see the name of it, the number that corresponds to the to the brush. And usually these type of brushes, you guys, you have to replace them often because they're so thin. And after time, they start getting frayed and very, they start losing their shape. So if this is a good brush to replace these for a dollar, that's you can't beat that. So yes, this is the AOA Studio Eyeliner Brush number E116. Next item that I bought, this was pretty cool. I actually was very impressed on how it was delivered as well. It's A2O Dusk Eyeshadow Kit. And it comes in like a little Z palette. And each shadow was individually delivered in their container like this. So I just opened it up and I put them into their Z palette. And these eyeshadows look pretty, pretty nice. This top row up here, they're shimmers. This is a matte. This is a matte. This one is kind of like a set and I could actually pass format and then these are more like shimmer colors. But look at these colors. They're... I'm just gonna swatch one for you guys. Let's swatch. What color should I swatch? Let's swatch these two, the blue and the and the brown. So that's like a finger swatch. Woo. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna swatch that brown one. It could be more pigmented, but I'm sure it's easy to build. We'll see how that works. Blue one's a little powdery, more so than the ones I swatched at first. You can barely see it too. Let's swatch this one over here. Ooh. This one feels really nice and buttery. It's right there. Wow, that's nice. That is pretty. It's like a nice rose gold color. It's like the next product that I got was this high intensity mascara. This is the Starry Mascara. And obviously I can't swatch this, but the wand, I'm just gonna show you guys the wand. The one I like, I really am a fan of these type of wands. They're not the plasticky ones. I feel like you get a better application with these kind of wands. The next item that I got is a blush. This is the Malibu Cheek Blusher in shade Coral. Look at that color. The finish of this is like a nice satin. And I like that it's not that pigmented. I'm not a big fan of pigmented blushes. So when... They're not that pigmented. I feel like they're easier to blend out. So I actually like how this is swatching. We'll see how it applies to the face. Next item that I got is the Malibu Glitz Powder. This is like a bronzer that I ended up getting. It almost looks like the shade of the, um, what is that brand called? Oh, the Benefit Cosmetics Bronzer, the Hula Light. That's what this looks like pretty cool this is gonna be hard to swatch yeah it is hard to swatch because well you could actually see it right there it's pretty cool again it'll be like a buildable bronzer that's actually a good pigment for a bronzer the next thing that I ended up getting is a concealer I'm a little iffy about this concealer just because it looks a little too pink but this is their concealer and foundation um, and it comes in a little tube with a Doe foot applicator. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Yeah, I don't think I like this. I think it has shimmer. Oh my god. I don't know. Um, I don't think I like that. I don't know why this seems like it has shimmer, but I think it has shimmer. So if I do the full face, I'm just gonna end up using this as like a shadow primer because this almost looks like it has shimmer and it's a little bit on the pinkier side so i don't know what that's about next thing that i got is this um bronzer duo which i don't see 
the difference. They both look a little bit the same. I guess this is a little darker. But, um, I don't know. I might end up using this as a shadow because it has a lot, a lot of, like, glitter in it. But maybe it's just a spray over. I think it's just a spray over. That's nice. If that just ends up being a spray over, then we can actually use that to bronze our face for like a nice golden goddess type of look. That'll be nice. Next item that I got is another blusher. This is in the color Enchanted Orchid. And this one, it doesn't, that's a little bit more true to color. That's like a, um, like a mauve blush. It has a satin, it looks like a satin finish and it has like another one of those roses on top of it it's a little bit powdery when i when i um try and swatch it but there it is it's like a satin finish i think that's pretty nice i hope that it's not super pigmented the way it's actually looking on my hand hopefully i'll use maybe like a stipple brush just to diffuse it a little bit but i feel like that'll be a nice blusher color for some like grungy looks Next, I got two eyeshadow palettes, and these are like nine eyeshadow each. This one is more on the warmer side, and then this one is more of like on the berry, berry side. These were actually, I think, a dollar as well, and I like that it has a black. I'm going to swatch the black, because usually blacks are hard to... Uh, it's pretty black. I'm sure it'll be nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, actually. Not the best black, but I think that's pretty good for a dollar. Like I said, this one is more of like a berry purpley shade. I like that it has um, it has a couple mattes, but again, for a dollar, this is pretty good for a dollar. Um, next thing I got, I ended up getting an eyeliner, like a gel liner, and this again was a dollar. Comes with a little brush. Obviously, I won't be using the brush, but I'm just gonna use it right now just to. We'll give it a shot with the. Actually, you could actually build it up. We'll see how it works. We can actually build it up, so that'll be nice. Next thing I got, this is um, one of their concealers, but it's in their like a compact form. The color actually looks lighter than it is, but um, I think it might be a good, a good shade. There is the color. Swatch it. Yeah, that's nice. It says concealer. I'll probably use that more so than this so we'll see how that works all right next thing I got was a lipstick I ended up just getting one and I think this is a really nice fall winter color the hibiscus and it's not that pigmented it feels like a lip balm that's so weird that's the color right there. So that feels like more on the sheer side. Um, we'll see. I might have to use like a lip liner underneath and then layer it on. But I kind of like that it doesn't feel drying like I thought it would. Because that's the main reason why I don't like using lipsticks. The last few things that I got, they're not really makeup items. But I'm going to show you guys. I bought a headband for the days that I do like a tutorial while I'm... Um, while I have my hair down so I bought a headband just to kind of get my hair out of the way and this is it it's like a knotted headband it's gold again this was a dollar as well so that's kind of cute and then I ended up getting three masks one is a tea tree calm and refresh mask vitamin c vitalize and revive mask and then the next one is a pore control facial mask so We'll see how those work. I'm excited to use them. I don't think I've ever used any sheet masks before. I mean, I've done masks before, but nothing like this. So that's kind of cool that I got three of them. And again, each were a dollar. So we'll see how that works too. And yeah, that is all I got. I'm excited to use this. We'll see how everything works. I'm going to do again another video separate from this one so that I can show you guys a full face of everything that I bought. I feel like I need, I got everything that I needed for a full face. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to my channel, consider subscribing. I do video beauty videos three times a week, beauty product reviews, anything pretty much beauty related. That's right up your alley. Please consider subscribing. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.